Good evening, everyone. Adam has the night off. A plea tonight from the mother of a young man with disabilities. Put yourself in her shoes. She says she was unfairly denied the help she needs to make her van wheelchair accessible. Tonight, as Ashley Edlin reports, there may be more families struggling with the same thing. Last month, this was Kim Yurick inside her minivan, barely holding in the tears. Yurick had just been told that van wasn't going to be converted for her 22 year old son, Giuliano, and his electric wheelchair because it was over the amount of miles a Medicaid waiver program paying for the changes allows. But Yurick says the tears came because there was more to the story. She says the van was in compliance when they called, she just couldn't make it to the appointment. We weren't strong. And he had emergency surgery. So I called him four days later. Yurik says when she was able to get an appointment again, it was months later and admits they were over the allocated number of miles then. But she was hoping for a break. It's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. But luckily, someone was watching that Facebook video. My heart definitely went out to her. Heather Kurtz with Auto Crafting United here in Rochester says her company converts vehicles like Eurick's and says it's happened to more than just her family. The situation for a lot of our families is the amount of information that's out there. It's hard to find out exactly what the exact criteria is. According to information News 8 obtained, the rules are set forth by the state and are strictly enforced. The van cannot have been in an accident under a certain model year or over the allocated number of miles. But to that, Yurik has just one thing to say. Put yourself in our shoes. Just come around, come to my house, live my life. We do this together. Yurik was able to get the help she needed through Auto Crafting United, and her van is now in the bidding process to see which company in Rochester will convert her van to make it accessible for her son. We're told it will take whoever wins the bid a few months to finish the van. So in the meantime, she's purchased a third car. So she has something to drive until it's finished. Maureen. All right, Ashley, thank you. We did reach out to the state for comment about all of this, and they cannot comment on Kim's specific case, but they did give us the criteria for the Medicaid waiver program, the same criteria Ashley outlined in her report. For more information on the Medicaid waiver, look for the link on this story at rochesterfirst.com.